Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome to a video that I am filming on my lunch break because I film at odd hours because I have a job. Anyways, in this video today, I'm going to review another book that I read that I, for the most part, enjoyed but had a few issues with but also just wanted to talk about. So today I'm going to be reviewing The Midnight Witch by Paula Braxton. Now I have to say, because my library puts these protective films over the cover, all of my book covers reflect light. However, also, because I only go to the library when to, to get my books, whenever a cover does not have this plastic film on it, I think it feels weird. So whenever I go to bookstores, it feels weird to view books without that plastic cover. Anyways, um, I'm going to be reviewing this book today. So the premise of this book is there is a young woman who lives in um, right around the turn of the century from the 1800s to the 1900s, a little bit before World War I. And she, as well as other members of her family, have magical powers. They belong to a coven, and they are just living their normal day-to-day -day lives in normal society, but also having this secret identity, so other people don't know that they exist. This young woman uh, is also sort of engaged in a love triangle of sorts. Obviously, there's the uh, rich suitable person that she is technically engaged to but they haven't gotten married yet and they're friends but she doesn't feel quite the same way about him and then there's the artist the artist the one who's devoted to his art the one who has found a burning passion for her um and also world war one becomes a player in this book so that's kind of the basis for this book and what happens. I have to say it's rather, um, it went by rather quickly. Uh, one thing that I noticed, now I do not know what genre the author would put this under, but this does, does feel to be more of a fantasy book. And standalone fantasy books, especially when they're 250 pages, for me tend to feel like they're very quickly paced or the author skips a lot of time, but that is not bad, that is just more out of necessity. Because more fantasy books that I read are in series, the author has the luxury of time to tell the story. So that's the first thing I will note is that it went by very quickly, but I don't think, and that there were big time gaps, but I don't think that's necessarily bad. I just think that's a nature of writing a more standalone fantasy-like book. The reason I like to read Paula Braxton's books, and I have read a couple, at least two other books by her, including The Winter Witch, which is one that's mentioned on the back cover, is because I like witches. It's one of my favorite fiction themes to read about. I love witches. I really enjoy reading about witches when they have a secret witch identity that they can't really reveal, but they have to live a normal life in normal society, whatever society looks like at that time, while also hiding their witch identity. I love it. I do not know why I like witches so much. I just really enjoy reading it. And all of Paula Braxton's books have been about a woman who has some form of magical ability. What way it plays out is unknown, but... Uh, and for that reason, I really do enjoy her books. So that kind of comes to the disappointment of that I had with this book, and that is there was a lot less focus on the witches than I wanted to. And the witch does play a central role. I think this just boils down to personal preference, because I think there was a lot more focus on the love triangle. She has a tenuous relationship with her brother. Her father has died. Um, and there is another sect of people who practice necromancy, but of a bad kind, because she also in some ways does necromancy, uh, that are trying to steal a secret from her coven, which is a main source of tension throughout the book as well. And I just wanted to see her use her magical powers more than she did. Or I wanted to just know more about her magical powers. And again, that could go back to the, the fact that this is a 250 page standalone fantasy novel where the author really couldn't get into the details of how the magic works and the way magic works and all these ways, but every time they were talking about it, I wanted to know more, so, to the point where I was annoyed when we now had to deal with her personal feelings about the artist or the artist's life or his problems. So um, that was a little, little annoying, but I think that annoyance comes down to personal preference because I think anyone who doesn't have as much strong of opinion about witches as I do will find that there's plenty of stuff to enjoy in this book. So I wound up enjoying this book. I do think, I am. So I don't want to get wrong wrong information. I think the winter wit the winter witch is the one set 
in Wales. And it, it's the woman whose husband was killed on their honeymoon and they, um, and she moves to this cottage in rural, that's where I can't say, rural Wales. Um, to kind of cope with that. That was has been that was the first book I read by Paula Braxton and that is my to date my favorite book. None of her other books, well they have been good, have really lived up to that book. So um, if I would to recommend a book by this author, I would recommend that one. I think it is The Winter Witch. But it might not be. So unfortunately I'm not gonna I don't want to give away bad advice. But um, if you do kind of enjoy witches, if you want to see um, how magic kind of plays out in a different society, it, well, magic, someone with magical abilities who has to keep it secret in another society. This might be a very interesting um, book to read. 250 pages, you can do it in a couple nights, um, and yeah, overall enjoyable read. Not my favorite, not my favorite by the author, but enjoyable enough to keep me entertained. So that is all. Hopefully you guys have a great day. If anyone has read this book or has read anything else by Paula Braxton or can recommend any other books that involve witches, I am a big fan. So feel free to pass over your suggestions. I'll be very happy to take them and have a great day.